hi I have made the brands bridge so I'm just going to go over how I've made it so I looked at the date literally in a couple of days time it will be next year's planner so all of the bridges from last year won't be connected to next year's planner which means I have to um, churn out some bridges for you so it's connecting to the right planner so what I've done is um, I've taken week two of the planner from current year and I'm, I, I made the set of planner out of week two because um, next week the new year will be from um, week three onwards and week two which is this week will be the most up-to-date version I would assume yes so um, all of these is actually uh, more or less identical to the one you have used last year because I wanted to make it so that you are not um, without a planner for next week you can just um, carry on using it but I, uh, I can actually refine it some more to cater for the needs of uh, the um, department next time I see you you can tell me what you want and I can make it a better version so it is connected to um, the what do you call that yes it's called the uh, brand experience tracker so all of all of these um, bridges is connected to the that tracker and down here okay let me just delete this part all of this area is actually connected to um, the events planner and here um, is connected to your brand's planner and on a tab called the notes tab you can just key in whatever you want and this area will pick it up but um, I saw that on a, that Sunday you have put this notice on the meeting so I went and copied that and put it in general for the entire year so if you don't want uh, this notice to be up just delete it when you delete it all of these will be deleted the links is actually here if you just press onto any one of these um, cells and then you go to the pop-up it will take you to, to the area where you can um, change the wording to your meetings notes or training notes um, it's actually good to keep it on this file because if I'm to produce another version for you a more um, catered to your needs version um, all of the information which you have gathered for the entire year is kept away from these four um, bridges and therefore it's more disposable because um, you can keep this tab and use it for a new set um, which I think is quite good yeah I've got a tip for you if you wanted to get rid of all of these um, 45 45 45 like this in one go you can actually just select the whole area like this and then control H 45 match the entire cell and then replace and they will be blank yeah but however if you to do that you still got the gray cells yeah <laughs> yeah <sighs> anyway whatever is hidden um i suppose you don't really need to hide hide it like this you see here you're hidden it oh then let me unhide it unhide it did I just hide it unhide yeah 
hold on and hide whatever you don't want you could actually just put in a symbol maybe even just say the word hide like this and then you can actually just go like this and hide <laughs> Yeah, that would look a bit neater, wouldn't it? But it's up to you. That's what I would do. Like here, you put hide. Hide. And then here, you did this select hide. So that is hidden. Yeah, that's what I would do. Hmm. And um, I have actually unprotected this part because previously I was telling you you can do the control H. So if somebody have um, left, you can actually just do control, for example, this person control C to copy the cell, control H, control V to paste in, replace it with a blank or just with the word vacancy one. Then you can reuse it, match the entire cell replace all and so there is um eight instance of this name cross seven sheets yeah can do that because i have actually um unlocked unpro unprotected um this this one here so therefore you can use the control h now which is quite good so next time when you see me, we can actually talk about how you want um, um, the new bridge to be, because I'm sure you, you probably don't want, you know, all of these um, extra bits. Yeah. You can just hide it. Yes. Um. Anyway. Thank you very much. Goodbye.